Aloha, my friends, and welcome back to Maui Don Fit, the channel that encompasses everything from food to fitness and how they work together in keeping us looking great and feeling better. If that sounds like it's your cup of tea, please take a second now, hit that subscribe button. We can stay fit together this way and you can help me further this channel. I really appreciate your support. It helps me greatly. Thank you so much. Many mahalos. So today we're going to learn about stretching. This is so important, you guys. A lot of people think that they have uh, back problems, neck problems, pinched nerves. In all reality, it's tight muscles. Tight muscles are the leading cause in a lot of these pains that we just feel every day because we don't stretch. We work and work and work and these muscles get tighter and tighter and tighter and we never give them a chance to relax. So we're going to learn a few stretches today, mainly for the hips and the hamstrings and problem areas that I have and I'm sure a lot of you have uh, to loosen those things up. Um, hips, tight hips and tight hamstrings will lead to lower back pain. Uh, it, it'll mimic sciatica pain. Uh, things like that, and it's just super uncomfortable. Uh, you won't be able to sleep well because you, you'll, you know, you'll have that crick in the lower back. Nobody likes that. So just take a few minutes a day and stretch. These stretches you can perform anywhere at all. You can perform them at work. You can perform them while you're at the playground with the children. Uh, you could do them before you make dinner. Literally anywhere you don't need any equipment to do these stretches it's all just you the floor wherever you are when we work our muscles they just get so tight tighter and tighter and tighter and tighter and that pulls on other things so if your hamstring gets tight like that it's like a rubber band being stretched to its max and then it's going to pull on other things. It's going to pull at your back. It's going to pull at your hip and you're going to feel a pain because that's what your body does. And unless you stretch to release that, you're never going to fix the issue. You can go get as many MRIs as you want. You can go take painkillers. All this stuff is not necessary. What you need to do is stretch to fix the problem. So get ready to grab your ankles like a professional because we're going to work some of that Maui magic and get right down to it. All right, we are going to kick this off by touching our toes while sitting on the ground. So easy. You can do this literally anywhere. So all you want to do is bring your legs together, make sure that your toes are pointing towards the ceiling and we're going to lean forward. I'm not going to try to bring my chest to my knees. I'm going to try to put my head forward. And this is going to make sure that I stretch my hamstrings more. So here we go. And we're just trying to lunge my head forward while reaching for my toes. If you can't reach your toes all the way, that's fine. Just go as far as you can and just do this until you can get all the way to your toes. Just do little pulses and that'll help you get there. Then you wanna Hold into the stretch. Remember to bring your head forward. This should feel a burn all back here in your hamstrings. A lot of people think that they have lower back pain and things like that. Really, their hips and their hamstrings are probably tight and if they just loosen them up, it'll solve a lot of their problems. Stretching is so important. It'll prevent injury. It could uh, help injuries that you already have. Um, a whole slew of things that stretching can help. A lot of people, like I said, <clears throat> will have uh, lower back pain and things like that. And really it's just tight muscles. People don't stretch a lot and um, it's something that gets overlooked a ton and you really, really need to stretch. This only takes a few minutes in the morning. You can do it in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening, whenever you have free time. If you can do it multiple times a day, fantastic, do it. So again, toes to the ceiling. I'm leaning forward, not down. I mean, yeah, down too, but I'm leaning 
forward. This is where the stretch comes from. Try to kiss your pretty little toes. From there, we're going to do a very similar stretch, but we're going to take one leg and cross it over the other. I like to go just above the knee. Again, if you can't do that, just go as far as you can. I try to push this down a little while holding my arm under here. That makes it so that I can go forward a little bit easier. Keep this toe pointed to the ceiling and lean into it. You wanna lean forward while going towards your toe with your head. You should be able to feel this down here, really a lot in the hip, right in this area. I absolutely love this stretch. It opens up everything in your hip. If you can, go ahead and push your knee down to the floor a little bit. Don't go so much where it hurts, just go where you can feel the stretch. Then we're going to switch. Make sure that you get the other leg. Same thing, one arm under, one arm up. Pushing my head toward my foot, not my chest to my knee. Yeah, the bottom of my feet are probably dirty. This is Maui, we walk around barefoot a lot. So like I said, we're going to take this leg Bring it up above the knee if you can. If you can't, just go as far as you can. That's fine. Above the knee is great. Bring one arm down for some support and keep the other arm up and just lean forward, keeping this toe aimed to the sky. You're leaning out, leaning out, not down. You should really feel this right under here on, uh, what is that? The outside of your thigh, right underneath your ass cheek. All right, now we're going to open our legs up on the floor, keeping our toes pointed to the ceiling. And I'm going to reach forward as far as I can. You're trying to drive your hips to the ground here. If I back up, you'll be able to see a little better, I'm sure. And just go as far as you can. Again, bringing your head forward, not your chest down. You should be able to feel this one in the back of the leg, maybe even a little inner thigh here. And just go as far as you can and hold it. Keep those legs as wide as you can, toes facing the ceiling, and lean forward. Go as far as you can. Should really be able to feel that stretch all around the back side of your leg, on the inside of your thigh a little bit, maybe even your lower back here. The microphone's messing with my hip. Twist your head around, you never know. Maybe you'll get a good crack out of your neck. This alone could be a good stretch for you. If, if 
this is what you can do and you can't even lean forward, that's fine. Just do this. Start off here and eventually you'll progress your way to where we can go all the way down just like I just did. If this is all you can do, then this is all you can do. There is no shame in it. Next, you're gonna to wanna to put your feet a little bit wider than your shoulders. Pull your pants up so you don't rip them. Put your hands on the inside of your thighs here, just above the knee, and you're going to crouch into the position. I believe this is called a plie. And just sink into that and do that. Uh, and you can feel that stretch all the way in the back of your legs, on the inside of your thigh. And if you can do this easily, go ahead and keep this arm straight and twist. And then you're going to push out on your knee at the same time. And that just gives you a little more of a stretch. If you're not able to do this, just start with the beginning step and do it until you can get to this. That is fine. And then switch over to the other side. Making sure that you keep this arm straight and you're pushing out on your leg. And that'll just give you more of an inside stretch as you push out. If all you can do is this, that's fine. Just stay there. Just feel the stretch. You can push out on your legs and get even more of a stretch. All right, again, we're trying to get you some different angles here so you can see it from every vantage point. Keep your feet a little wider than your shoulders or as far as you can. Push your legs out into this plie stance. Try to keep everything else tight. Try to keep your core and everything solid. If this is all you can do, that's fine. This is a fantastic stretch just on its own. You'll feel it here, down here, on the outside, just under your ass cheeks. Great stretch. Twist keeping this arm straight and pushing out on your hip just to get more and more of that stretch. Switch sides. Again, only do this if you can. If you can't do the step, that's fine. Start at the beginning and work your way up. Now we're going to do a standing toe touch. We switched up the angle a little bit just to demonstrate a little bit better for you. Uh, put your feet together, keep your legs straight, don't bend your knees, and just bend at the hip. Making sure to keep your legs straight. If you can't go down all the way, that's fine. Just go as far as you can. You're only in competition with yourself, so just try to do as much as you can. Don't worry about other people. If you can go all the way to the floor, great. Go ahead and do so. Again, you're doing the same thing that we did in the other stretches, trying to bring your head to the ground. Sometimes I'll even grab my ankles like this just to give myself a little something to pull on, something to grab so that I can push my head further to the ground. You're not trying to bring your chest to your knees. You're trying to bring your head to the ground. Just go as far as you can and hold the stretch. <sighs> Breathing deeply does help stretch. It also helps a lot of other things. So make sure that you're breathing through these stretches. We'll do the standing toe touch from a little bit of a different angle just to try to get you the best visual you can have. 
Keep your feet together. Keep your knees, not necessarily locked, but straight. And bend at the waist. Go as far as you can. If this is all you can do, that's fantastic. Just keep it up. Just do this if that's as far as you can go. If you can go further, go further. Sometimes I find that the little pulses help me in order to start out to get things loose and then I can go a little further and sink in and hold it. You should really be able to feel this all the way from the back of your calves to the back of your hamstrings, maybe even a little on the inside of your leg. These bands on the back of your leg get so tight. People don't realize how much you use them in a day. Really helps to give them a five minute stretch every day. There it is, my friends. Five awesome stretches that you can do anywhere to keep your hamstrings, your hips, all a lot looser and help you feel a lot better in the process. Now, if you enjoyed today's video, please hit that subscribe button so that we can stay fit together. I can't thank you all enough for watching. Many mahalas and much aloha.